వెల్కమ్ టు ఎస్ క్యూబ్ హంగామా మన భారతీయులందరూ గర్వించదగ్గ ఒక విషయం భారతీయుడు అమెరికాకు వెళ్ళి అక్కడ తన సత్తాన్ని చాటాడు ఇతను ఒక యువకుడు ప్రస్తుతం ఉన్న ఈ కరోనా సిచ్యువేషన్ లో ఎంతో మంది తమ సేవల్ని ఫ్రంట్ లైన్ వర్కర్స్ తమ సేవల్ని చేస్తూనే ఉన్నారు సో ఒక ఒక యువకుడు తన టెక్నాలజీని ఉపయోగించుకొని తన ఐడియాస్ ఉపయోగించుకొని కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ కి సంబంధించి ఒక డిజిటల్ పీపీ కిట్ తయారు చేస్తే ఎలా ఉంటుందని ఒక ఆలోచన గురించి సక్సెస్ఫుల్ గా ఒక డివైస్ ని అయితే తయారు చేశారు మ్యానుఫాక్చర్ చేశారు అదే డిజిటల్ పీపీఈ కిట్స్ సో ఇతను మన భారతీయుడు అయినందుకు మనందరం గర్వించాలి ఇతను బేసికల్ గా బీహార్ నుంచి మన ఇండియాలో బీహార్ నుంచి సో ఈ ఇంటర్వ్యూ మొత్తం ఇంగ్లీష్ లో సాగుతుంది ఎందుకంటే తనకి ఆ తెలుగు అర్థం అవుతుంది అండ్ తెలుగు రాదు కాబట్టి సో టోటలీ ఈ ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇంగ్లీష్ లో ఉంది ద మ్యాన్ విచ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ నౌ ఈస్ అండ్ ఇండియన్ ఎవ్రీ ఇండియన్ షుడ్ బి ప్రౌడ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ మ్యాన్ మేబీ హీ మైట్ హ్యావ్ బిలీవ్డ్ ఇన్ అ సేయింగ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఎ ఫేమస్ కొటేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఏపీ చప్పుల్ కలామ్ దట్ ఈస్ డే టు డ్రీమ్ అండ్ కే టు అచీవ్ ఇట్ మేబీ హీ హ్యాడ్ ద డేర్ and he also have the care in achieving it because in this pandemic situation where the whole whole world is suffering and many people like doctors and also all other frontline workers are doing their job and their services but this young lad has come up with a great idea with his team okay to save many people and also in the workplace especially uh, to avoid this corona effect they have come up with an idea called digital ppe kits so not only his parents should be proud of him but also every indian should be proud of him here we have mr apurva kiran hydrate labs co-founder cto from boston welcome to the show apurva thank you karthik thank you for those kind words how are you apurva I'm doing great, Karthi. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. First of all, uh, we would like to congratulate you or appreciate you uh, on your new development. Thank you, Karthi. And I also thank your team for uh, this wonderful opportunity to discuss mm-hmm. our technology and help us spread awareness about COVID-19. I look forward to... Uh, to talk in more details about our solution and, and uh, some of the latest work we have done to prevent covid-19 infection apu like uh, we would like to know like when did you come to america and also like when did you uh, what you have uh, done here like uh, your education I came to the US in 2011 for my PhD. I did my schooling from Cornell University in mechanical engineering. After mm-hmm. I graduated from my PhD in 2018, I started Hydrate Labs. Uh, the company's mission is to prevent injuries uh, among industrial workers. Uh, mm-hmm. We are a workforce management and safety company. Okay. So basically, uh, from which place of india you are from i'm from bihar my hometown veroni is approximately 3 hours away from patna mm-hmm. um, the only claim to fame to our uh, place is that uh, dinkar is from there uh, mm-hmm. from poet of india dinkar was born in the same area oh so now now people can say apurva also born here <laughs> not really i think i am light years away from that position but um, i'm very proud to be associated with that land yeah. so yes uh, first of all every indian uh, should be proud of you because in this pandemic situation okay you and your team have come up with an uh, excellent idea i can say so can you please tell us about your digital pp kit sure um Thank you for this opportunity to explain our technology. Um, mm-hmm. If you think about digital PPEs, uh, these are electronics and IoT-based um, 
protective equipment which can mm -hmm. prevent spread of covid virus among um, industrial workers mm -hmm. um, and implemented on a large scale Imagine an industrial factory, you will see 2,000 people working uh, in a very small area where COVID infection can spread very fast. Um, that was one of the reasons that many of the meat processing companies in the United States uh, mm -hmm. had as many as 50% of their uh, workers getting COVID-19. These reports came from yes. different places, Titan, yes. uh, JBS, and other places uh, in Texas. So the idea of digital PPE is that uh, you cannot give physical PPEs to all the people because it becomes expensive and it is difficult to manage those number of PPEs. But digital PPEs can be controlled using computer network. Um, mm -hmm. And a safeguarding thousands of people becomes easier. So you okay. can see some example of those de devices behind, uh, behind me. These are UW-based devices. UW stands for Ultra Wideband Technology. It is mm -hmm. one of the most uh, accurate way of measuring distance between two people. Um, they are very proud that our devices has a precision of less than 10 centimeters, uh, and these devices give you social distancing alert, and mm -hmm. if they help contact tracing. These are the two important features which enable our device to manage spread very effectively within an industrial environment. Okay. So when you started this uh, ITRET Labs? We started ITRET Labs two years back when we mm -hmm. graduated out of our university. There are two co-founders, uh, me, um, then Jason. Mm -hmm. I look after the tech development and Jason looks after the business development. So, what is the reason behind starting this uh, ITRET Labs? Industrial safety, industrial safety is a big concern um, among every industrial sector. If you look at mm -hmm. uh, compensation, if you look at number of people who die or get injured at the workplace, mm -hmm. um, is very high. Uh, to address yeah. that, when we started this company, um, mm -hmm. we that with the arrival of uh, IoT um, and uh, various other sensor technology, it is uh, easier and more effective way of managing safety of your employees. Mm -hmm. uh, that motivated us to start this company. So what were your previous products uh, from, your, from your company? We focused on uh, two different products. The first product mm -hmm. is for uh, uh, safety of um, musculoskeletal injuries. And mm -hmm. the second one is uh, for COVID-19. The very first product, uh, we call them Delta One. It goes on every employee. It tracks the biomotion. Based on biomotion, mm -hmm. it's insights related to safety and productivity. Um, okay. So you these devices helping you manage uh, a crew of thousand people within a factory setting which was previously not possible and the second okay. product is um, uh, delta zero which is for uvw based social distancing alert and contact tracing essentially uh, for uh, checking covid19 infection spread okay so uh... So what is the size of your company right now? Like how many employees are there? Or we are so where is it located? Yeah. Uh, we are a Boston-based company. Uh -huh. We have a small office in New York, um, upstate Ithaca, where we uh, started the company. Um, mm -hmm. But the bigger office is in Boston. We are only 12 people at the moment, but I'm very proud to say all 12 yeah. people are smart. Um, and it's one of the best workplaces to work at. So, yeah. So, if it, it, like, is that your dream from the childhood that to become an entrepreneur, or like, uh, in the process of uh, like uh, your career? So maybe later in, uh, in your like uh, career or in your life, uh, you thought of becoming an entrepreneur. So, what was that exactly? 
I come from a very academic family. My grandfather was a teacher. My father is also a teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. And I almost gravitated towards an academic career. So when I came to the PhD, I was hoping to become a professor of engineering. Um, towards the end of my PhD, um, I learned about one of the entrepreneurship program by Cornell University, which encouraged mm -hmm. PhD graduate students to uh, enter into uh, start a startup world. Uh, that's okay. how I trusted in, in entrepreneurship. So essentially, you can say Cornell University provided me with a platform to mm -hmm. get a piece of entrepreneurship, um, realize how powerful uh, entrepreneurship can be, uh, mm -hmm. and you, you are no more a job seeker rather than you are a job creator once you take up mm -hmm. the role of yeah. Yeah. So, uh, coming to this product, okay, right now, which uh, your company has developed. So, so is it only for the workplaces like factories or the industries or some uh, IT organizations or like where exactly we can use this, uh, this product, especially? I would say, um, so some of the top customers of our product are in university and big manufacturing companies. Mm -hmm. I, our solution can also be used in starting, uh, uh, reopening the economy, whether they are shops or restaurants. Um, mm -hmm. But we are getting most traction in uh, those areas where you have a, a relatively large crowd. Imagine uh, universities where hundreds of students will gather in a single classroom or research mm -hmm. labs where uh, tens of researchers are going to work very close to each other. Mm -hmm. Similar to the factory environment where thousands of people work on the shop floor. Um, those are the places where we are getting most of the traction. Mm -hmm. um, imagine yourself, um, you can work from home um, mm -hmm. probably business side, but there are a lot of people who can't afford to work from home. They have to go to uh, their workplace. So those yeah. essential services where workers and employees uh, have to be on site to do their job, mm -hmm. they are the one who need our devices, who can benefit the most from our devices. And okay. also add that if you look at your own lifestyle, you will see that there are Two places you where you spend maximum of your time. You spend mm -hmm. uh, half of your day at home and then half of the day at office. In between, mm -hmm. uh, might be traveling or you might be driving. But essentially, these two are the places where one can get an infection. Now, houses, yeah. you, you know, you, you have to stay with your family. You can't avoid that contact. But in the workplace, you know, when people are coming from different parts of the city, different parts of the town, you you have to be aware about COVID-19. Even a single person with COVID infected um, COVID-19 can spread to 50s and hundreds of um, other employees at the workplace. Yeah. So in that setting, our device mm -hmm. is very useful. It helps you to give social distancing alerts to two people when they come close to each other, um, mm -hmm. closer than six feet. It gives you mm -hmm. a warning you to need to get separated and mm -hmm. uh, if they happen to stay in close proximity for a longer uh, period of time, then your device registered and increasing mm -hmm. that people came in contact. Let's keep it in our ledger. And if there is any kind of infection later, you can do a contact tracing in a very precise and accurate way. Okay. And so distancing mm -hmm. alert um, also reminds you about you know other pandemic etiquettes. For example, mm -hmm. you should be wearing masks, you should be wearing gloves. Um, if you are sneezing, you should cover your face. So this the social distancing alert uh, serves the community in, in all these ways. Okay, so what kind of technology you have used uh, in developing this uh, product? The underlying technology is called UWB. It stands for uh -huh. Ultra Wide Band Technology. Uh, mm -hmm. We have heard this terminology in the context of iPhone 11. So uh, Apple has recently implemented this chip on iPhone 11 um, from the point of view of uh, AirDrop. Uh, 
um, and VR, virtual reality, uh, augmented reality technology. Uh, we use similar chip uh, for, okay. for, for this technology. Okay, so, uh, okay, like if one organization want to uh, buy a product from you, okay, from your company, so what kind of setup is required for them so to, uh, to use this product? We provide them two different solutions. First solution uh -huh. is just the tag, and it will give you social distancing alert, mm -hmm. but it will not give you contact tracing. We mm -hmm. ship a box of these tags, as many as you want, uh, and you assign to your workers, uh -huh. uh, as simple as that. The second solution is again um, uh, a plus version, which has tag and a card reader. Um, mm -hmm. Solution gives you social distancing alert as well as contact tracing. Uh, again, the process is very simple. I will ship you a box of tags and a card reader. You assign these tags to your uh, colleagues and you keep this card reader at the gate of your office. So every day when your employees come in, they are going to pick up their tags, work as usual, and when they go back, they're going to put their tags back. And when they place their tags back, the data gets transferred to the card reader, and then you have access to our software, which is going to tell you how people have been doing with these tags, uh, how many alerts were given, who is uh, uh, making maximum number of contacts during the day, does he need any kind of uh, feedback. Um, you can also recognize which are those areas in your office where maximum people are making contacts. Uh, and you can, you know, make provisions um, so that there are no crowd um, happening in those parts of your office. Okay, so yeah, after listening to uh, uh, your setup and uh, about your pro product, so, okay, uh, is it possible that we can um, also use this product and set it up in an, in, in a schools as well, in the schools, like where uh, children, like, though now it is online sessions, but later on, like, if, we, if they go for a classroom uh, sessions, right, okay, where they need to physically go and attend the classes. So in that scenario, like, uh, how useful is your product for the for the students or for the kids? It's uh, going to be very effective. In fact, uh -huh. we are actively talking to many schools on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. um, very soon, a lot of offices will open and parents uh, will have to go to work. Um, mm -hmm. And I believe um, when the economy uh, opens, we can't uh, have school closed. Um, so for that scenario, our solution can be very effective. Mm -hmm. um, Children uh, respond very well to our device. Our devices are very user friendly. So mm -hmm. I believe it shouldn't be a problem. We have already seen uh, youths benefiting a lot at the university mm -hmm. level from our solution. Okay. And um, I'm confident that our solution will translate to this school environment uh, very well. Okay, so and also uh, coming to the malls. So there are many stores, okay, many stores in the malls. So, okay, is that uh, uh, like your product? Okay, so, okay, I'm a customer and if I enter to the store, okay, and Already there are uh, some uh, workers in that store. So already they are using your product, okay? So where is that possible that if I am also using your same product, okay, with me, and the store people also using the same product. So will, is that possible that we can use uh, the same thing? Because you will be setting it up in that store separately and my setup will be different. So how these both will be coordinating or related? If the two devices are different, um, then it can be difficult for uh -huh. both the devices to talk to each other. Uh -huh. Our solution is based on UWB. A lot okay. of solutions are implemented out there. They are uh, 
they're either manual without any sensor or um, you know they use a completely different technology so that can be a challenge but a viable solution could be that the store provides you with a tag temporarily and yes. they sanitize and clean those devices mm -hmm. i have in big malls and big uh, shops for example macy's you will have 200 to 300 people getting into the store at any time point and shop uh, have a hard time controlling the number of people uh, within their shop so our solution can help them in two ways first you can always know how many people are there in the store based on our um, device feedback and the second thing you know, uh, shopkeepers, they are going to have our tags, uh, which are going to be permanently assigned to them. But then customers are going uh, uh, are, are, are to pick up their tags when they enter the mm -hmm. shop, uh, mm -hmm. and they are going to be behind when, when they are done with their shopping. And mm -hmm. that way, uh, the entire mall can have um, a very effective way of controlling COVID-19 spread. It will give us social so social as well as um, contact tracing. Yeah, hopefully uh, that would be a good solution, I guess, because uh, uh, we cannot control the crowd uh, like entering into the stores. So where now most of them are like uh, saying that 50% of the occupancy. So if you have the 50% of occupancy, for example, if you allow uh, only uh, 15 people, for example, depending on the store size, 15 or 20 people once, so that you provide the device to them so that after a couple of people or five to six people come out, you allow another five to six people so that there will be a clear social distancing and also we can avoid these uh, uh, cases, I guess. Yeah, really, that will be a, a good idea. And also, uh, coming to uh, about uh, tracking. So how do you track uh, these devices? Uh, when you say tracking, you mean in terms of location or you mean in terms uh -huh. of location? Both location and this. We don't do location tracking actually. Okay. Um, and, and it's not a good idea to do location tracking because of, you know, privacy issues. So we avoid that part completely. What we mm -hmm. track is um, shows of distancing between different uh -huh. users and mm -hmm. whether they made any contact or not. And where this mm -hmm. contact was made is irrelevant to contact tracing uh, idea. Mm -hmm. You know, you are more worried about safety. You are not worried about tracking where your workers. Um, the way it works is that every time two devices come in close proximity, uh, mm -hmm. they talk to each other. Um, mm -hmm. And, and each device registers the number of the other device saying that, okay, I came in contact with this device, um, so this is my ledger. And this ledger uh, maintenance is done throughout the day. And at the end of the day, when you pass by the card reader, it downloads that ledger and it tells you that, okay, Karthik came in contact with these five people. Um, mm. And that's how we, we track on a day-to-day -day basis. We typically maintain a ledger for seven days so that in between, if there is any person with an infection, you can go back and track precisely how many people might have been impacted, and then you can quarantine them. So no location tracking, but yes, we do contact tracing using a ledger method. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh how affordable is your device these devices are very affordable mm -hmm. um, there are two ways you can buy them either you can buy the hardware by paying an upfront cost mm -hmm. we also have a subscription model which mm -hmm. means that every month you pay a small fee for our hardware and access to the software Okay. And also, do you have any patent rights uh, for your product, for this device now? Yes. Um, so, um, we, we have multiple IPs uh, for, uh, uh, for um, uh, 
the IoT uh, area. Okay. Most relate to workforce management and workforce safety. Mm -hmm. So how the response is uh, from your clients or have you approached any of the clients and uh, did you get any orders uh, from the clients and how res uh, like how much response you're getting from the people, especially from the business uh, people? We are getting very strong response from different customer base. Uh, we mm -hmm. have universities signing up for our devices. So very soon you will see many of the universities on the East Coast starting uh, their research lab using our mm -hmm. tech. We also got a tremendous amount of traction in uh, food processing industry, some of the mm -hmm. high-end metal fabrication uh, industry. Um, we also got um, a couple of customers in electronics manufacturing area. So overall, mm -hmm. I see good uh, response from different customer segments. Okay. It, it so confident that you know a lot of these corporates are worried about safety of their employees uh, and yes, they are yes, yes. doing everything in their capacity to make sure that employees are safe and they can return mm -hmm. safely. Yes. So what about your homeland, India? So you are you are uh, you're getting any uh, contracts or any orders from there and how, how about expanding your business or expanding your product globally? Right now, here we uh, until now we focused only on the United States. Um, there are multiple okay. reasons. You know, COVID nineteen locked down the entire uh, country, and once uh, we were in the lockdown, things slowed down. A lot of manufacturing companies were not working properly. Uh, mm -hmm. Any time, you know, we were developing our solution, uh, building the sales pipeline, doing marketing. Uh, all those things had to be done in parallel. That uh, limited our business scope, and we focused mostly on the U.S. until now. But now we are slowly expanding outside USA. We had uh, some uh, good traction in other countries. Um, mm -hmm. They are in Canada, Canada uh, and I'm hoping we will have some success in India as well. Okay, because the concept like uh, which you took is a universal one because. This COVID-19 is uh, all over the world now, okay, wherever a human being is there. So in, in the, every part or in every place or in every country right now, everyone are facing this uh, pandemic situation. So definitely, I hope like uh, this will be useful for many of the countries all over the world. So yeah, coming back to your personal life now. So how proud your parents are now? I haven't asked them. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you'll know, right? Like, uh, okay, so your relatives or maybe some people, they might have uh, degraded you before and now they might be praising you. So they be, they might be like calling you daily or sending you good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night messages. So you did you see any changes in those things? Well, I am very proud to have uh, a very supportive family. They love mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any change in their attitude uh, since my childhood. Uh, <laughs> we continue the same way, and uh, I also hope that I I continue to to contribute in some way to the society, so that they are proud of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're making every Indian proud man. That's good. Not only your parents, every Indian should be proud of you. It's coming to USA and starting a company here and also serving to the society. Though, yes, this this product, uh, with this product, with this device, you're also serving to the society as well because coming up with these ideas will be definitely useful to the society. Uh, now this device definitely for all over the world. So it's a good sign and good thing that you and your mm, team, I can say, are doing. So, yeah. So if, if a young guy, okay, who is having many dreams, 
okay starting like a dream of starting up a company so what do you suggest for those young people like so uh, what are your tips or what are your suggestions for those people i believe indians are very entrepreneurial mm -hmm. you know, they are uh, confident and uh, they are very well educated it doesn't matter which part of the world you go to you will find one or another indian businessman there i remember i was traveling in the middle of night through uh, midwest in iowa in the middle of nowhere i saw a gas station owned by a patel and said <laughs> okay here you go we have an indian entrepreneur here so i believe indians are very good, good entrepreneurs Mm -hmm. in recent i have seen universities um, have given a tremendous amount of push to entrepreneurship related programs um, mm -hmm. for example, our company is also um, coming out of an entrepreneurship program at uh, cornell university um, mm -hmm. i see similar kind of initiatives from many other indian, indian universities for example iit chennai has a very good entrepreneurship program uh, iit mm -hmm. delhi has, uh, and many other schools as well so um, mm -hmm. My suggestion would be that when uh, somebody is at the school, they should take advantage of such programs. They can attend some of the courses. Uh, they can get a feel of uh, what entrepreneurship is, and also mm -hmm. can make friendship with similar-minded people. Mm -hmm. Once you go and work in industry, it is hard to find a business partner. But when you are at a school, uh, when mm -hmm. you are an still and you talk to each other you realize that you know a lot of time we have similar kind of dreams okay in fact many of my friends from iit madras started the company in, in a similar fashion and uh, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, they they lived in the hostel they talked to each other uh, and many of them just became uh, co-founders of different companies uh, i would say that is and that is definitely a route people can explore Mm. Okay. And coming to your device, uh, how long uh, it took for you to develop this device? It took us more than two months to develop uh, the device, from uh, the stage of uh, inception to the mm -hmm. point of uh, it, it. It took us more than two months. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some initial idea. um mm -hmm. in uh second week we went out we asked uh, some of our customers if they would be interested in such an idea we found that a lot of our customers were worried about covid-19 infection and they wanted to keep their employees safe so we mm -hmm. saw is that third week we started uh working on prototyping we built a small uh, test device uh, the biggest challenge was proving the precision of the device by fourth week we had proven that okay the device works the way uh, we intended following mm -hmm. that working with um, a couple of manufacturers it took us another 2 to 3 weeks to manufacture all the devices um it was the end of the second month we started piloting our devices at different uh, customer locations um mm -hmm. and we saw that you know they gave good results from there uh, the business picked up okay so uh, in this process what are the challenges you faced uh, while developing this uh, device one of the biggest challenge was manufacturing if mm -hmm. you remember um, april may month when covid-19 mm -hmm. was peaking uh, global supply chain kind of broke down um when yeah. you think manufacturing most of the manufacturing happens in china taiwan and many other countries but because of covid-19 you know shipping had stopped shops were not working workers were not coming to the manufacturing facilities so our project almost died because of that because oh. no manufacturing company was willing to manufacture our device luckily we found a local manufacturer um and we started working with them and within you know one to two weeks we were able to uh, build these devices but that was one of the biggest challenge mm -hmm. dealing the global chain issue uh, in between covid-19 
So, like, is there any situation uh, while developing this uh, product? Okay. Did you did you feel low or did you go low like saying, hey, why did we start this? Or because some things are not happening because of the situations right now. Did you feel, uh, are there any situations like that for you? A couple of times, I definitely felt that it was going to be a huge financial risk. Mm. We saw a business case there but the business builds only if you can deliver. Okay. And like I said, when manufacturing wasn't going the way we were expecting, it definitely made us nervous. We have promised mm. these equipments to our customers and it's going to look bad. You never want to make your customer unhappy. You don't want to let them down. So that was uh, a period when we were a bit stressed. But thankfully, mm -hmm. uh, so Starwood Network, we found there were other companies who were willing to build our devices. They were mm -hmm. uh, locally um, uh, located, so it was easy to work with them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, after a couple of weeks, we were ready with the devices and customers had these uh, tags to work with. Okay. So, like, uh, so now what, what, like, what are you... Uh, like what kind of uh, uh, customers you are looking right now for. So if you want to like uh, send a message to anyone who, who are watching this or who watches this, so so what would you ask them like say, why to buy your product? We typically ask them how they are managing COVID-19 uh, situation at their office. Um, mm -hmm. We start with that simple question and, you know, as a part of their preparation, we want to understand their budget. We want to understand to what extent uh, um, they need our solution. You know, a lot of time, if you, you, you don't need a solution like this. For example, if uh, office is really big and you have only a handful of people um, there, say, uh, limited number, you are not too worried about the crowd then probably you don't need to spend money on such a tag. Uh, mm. But other times, uh, you you can have a, a large crowd, uh, but you might have limited budget. And in that case, we kind of work with the customers to figure out how it can work. Um, mm -hmm. We always tell them that one worst case scenario can be that COVID-19 infection spreads among the workers and employees. Mm -hmm. and everybody will be quarantined and that will be not just bad for the health of the people it will be bad mm -hmm. financially for the company because you will have to pay to all these employees when they can't work okay so, you know there is give and take you with a small budget with a small investment in uh, social distancing solutions you can potentially save a lot of money mm. in health of your workers that's how we usually talk to uh, talk to our customers. We show them tremendous amount of uh, ROI, return of investment, if they go with our solution. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in this scenario, like, so, uh, like, will you suggest for uh, like more than twenty-five or thirty people if you are working in the company or any store for those kind of those kind of people? Oh, how? Could you repeat your question, Karthi? Yeah, uh, so like, so with this, like, uh, what do you like uh, say, like, so uh, your your device can be useful for the people who are having more than uh, 25 employees working uh, in their organization or how it will be? We, um, there are customers who have as this as, you know, um, 12 people in, in their mm -hmm. company using our solution. Mm -hmm. And there okay. are also these uh, universities and companies who have as many as 10,000 people in, okay. in their place. Um, mm -hmm. And that's where digital fees are different. Yeah. Because these are digital in nature. 
you don't have to worry about uh, the scale of operation or how many people you need to protect. You can go for 25 people and you can mm -hmm. go 25,000 people. Okay. So definitely like nowadays, digital media is playing a key role, like giving an awareness to the people or sending uh, information or the message uh, directly uh, to the people. So definitely, I guess this your uh, digital PP kit will also be helpful for many people. Uh, and also now, so uh, what do you suggest for the students who are willing to come to US and do their masters or PhD. So what kind of universities do they need to uh, select? Because if because uh, maybe many people might have uh, a dream of becoming an entrepreneur, right? So so for them, so in choosing the universities, what are your suggestions? One should pick up a university which is um, good in their area. Mm -hmm. There are certain schools which are good in engineering. There are certain schools which are good in humanity. There are certain schools which are good for business and accounting. So mm -hmm. depending on your interests, you should pick up your university mm -hmm. uh, wisely. Uh, other than that, I will say weather also plays an important role. East coast is cold, west coast is warm. Uh, mm -hmm. So it depends on your uh, preferred choice of weather. If you are a warm weather person, you should probably pick up a university on the west coast. Um, if you like snow and you like changing seasons, then east coast could be the place where you want to be. Um, right now, it's a challenging time. I believe that, you know, a lot of courses will go online. Uh, yeah. So uh, managing uh, that is very important. Mm -hmm. Overall, people should be just aware about these things. So what are your like future products which we can expect from uh, iTrack Labs? Right now, we are going to focus on uh, these two products, one for industrial workforce management, both safety and productivity. And the second product mm -hmm. uh, we just discussed uh, for COVID-19 mm -hmm. management. The third product, which is in the pipeline, is getting uh, a lot of traction, is uh, a robotics automation product. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, like I said, our device usually collects a biomotion and processes mm -hmm. that data for industrial workforce uh, management. The same data we extremely useful for robotic automation. And here mm -hmm. is the reason: when you have thousands of people working on 100 different processes the data from these users is very um, uh, precious because that data okay. has information about how every individual is working with different machines. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you get tasks done? Uh, so there are certain jobs which are high risk jobs and you don't want people to do those jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, very risky. And those kind of jobs need to be automated we need uh, some robots to do those tasks. So we have been using uh, in uh, the biomotion data from workers to uh, process kinematics of machines. And following that, we automate those, those processes. So that is the third product, which is um, still in the pipeline. We believe that in coming time, it's, it's going to play an important role in a robotic automation. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're wishing you uh, all the uh, success in your future and also uh, your dreams come true, more dreams like about your uh, next coming products. OK, so thanks, Apurva, for uh, sharing your ideas with us and also experiences and also uh, sending like uh, sharing the good uh, information uh, to our viewers. And also uh, my request is like, would you and your team next time uh, for our viewers be able to show a demo live? Sure, that sounds uh, 
a very interesting proposition. We would love to give you a demo so that you could see uh -huh. how tags work in the real time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here are the two tags for you. So uh -huh. next time when we hop on the video call, I'm going to show you how these two devices work and what our software yes. can do in terms of uh, yes. preventing COVID-19 spread at a workplace. I look forward to that yeah. opportunity. Yeah, definitely. Like with your team, uh, hopefully, like next, uh, we are going to come uh, to my show. So, and let's see how it goes then. Thanks so much, Karthik. It was an excellent opportunity for to share my experience. Um, mm -hmm. And thank you for spreading the awareness about COVID-19. It's a very noble thing. We are together in this, and we should uh, we should save lives uh, in any possible way we can. Thank you yeah. for this opportunity. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks.